already. But we'll, there's no recording of this part, so we'll, we'll cover the creating a creative future. So you remember about the brain makes decisions before you even decide. It's already in action. Yeah? And uh, so let's kind of catch up. Review a little. See what you remember. So here's the contextual framework, right? Linguistic abstraction. Do you remember what that is? <coughs> linguistic, do you remember the first as aspect? Linguistic abstraction. So what's the linguistic abstraction, do you know? Yeah. What? Can you tell me? Freedom. Some words which doesn't mean some, something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, any <laughs> way of being and any actions are possible. Yeah? said about leader and leadership as linguistic abstractions. As linguistic abstractions, leader and leadership create leader and leadership as realms of possibility, in which when you're being a leader, all possible ways of being are available to you, and when exercising leadership, all possible actions are available to you. So here's leader and leadership as phenomena. Leader and leadership exist in the sphere of language whether it be literally speaking or speaking in the form of writing or speaking and listening to yourself that is thinking or the speaking of your actions as in actions speak louder than words or in providing a certain kind of listening. The point is, if you look for yourself, you will see that when you see someone being a leader or exercising leadership or when you have experience being led, you will see somebody's functioning in this sphere of language. So the third aspect, concepts, leader and leadership exist in the temporal domain of a creative future, a future that fills the concerns of the relevant parties that the leader and those being led come to live into, which future gives them being an action in the present consistent with realizing that future. The point is being a leader and exercise of leadership is all about realizing a future that wasn't going to happen. So, so here's as term, leader, as term, leadership is defined as an exercise in language that results in a creative future that the leader and those being led come to live into, which future gives them being an action in the present that results in the realization of a future that wasn't going to happen, which future fulfills or contributes to fulfilling the concerns of the relevant parties including, critically, those who granted the leadership, those who lead you and those you lead. So, uh, then we talked about the future, All right? This is a review here. So right here, remember the future? So, what can you tell me about the future? What's the problem, the conundrum, with the future? Do you remember any of that? That it doesn't exist in a real world. Only in our language. It's up there, too. <laughs> What's the future? The problem with the future. Do you remember? So what's the 
no problem. What did we say? What did we say about the future? In general? Say that again. Our past influences our future. Yes. The past is misfiled in the future. So what happens, what's going to happen is the already almost certain future. It might be a little bit more of something or a little bit different or a little bit of change, but nevertheless, it's some extension of the past. While life is sometimes better than the past and sometimes worse than the past, it is virtually always connected to the past. When people talk about having changed, they have in mind some past from which they've changed. In fact, to change you have to have something from which you changed. And the something from which you changed is the past. So even when you change, that is still connected with the past. So, So the brain, things happen, the brain files them, they're in the past. The brain files them mistakenly in the future, and there's patterns in the brain. And when those patterns are triggered by something that's similar to the future, the brain decides what actions you're going to take before you even consult it. So that's the problem with the future is an extension of the past, and the brain is programmed by the default future. So the future looks like the past. Yes? Uh, what about when people, when a person changes? When what? When a person changes, maybe his uh, um, quality, some changes. That's why he uh, he can't be the person he was in the past. That's why his future can't be connected with his past. Am I right? Uh, I usually what has to happen is a crucible event, something pretty uh, dramatic in a person's life that forces some kind of change. Yeah. But what we want to do is get access to that mechanism so we can create a created future with the same power that the brain, this mechanism that the brain uses, it decides, right? And then there you go. Because its neuronal patterns are already configured in such a way that it's going to do, that it's already decided. And it's based on the default future. Yeah? So what we want to do is get access to that mechanism. So a leader is about creating something that's not going to happen anyway. Yeah? That's coming together here. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. So... So what must one do? Do you remember the cosmic joke? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah? Remember, we covered it. Do you remember what the cosmic joke is? Or the pro it's kind of like you could say the problem with the future. you remember what that is? You said it earlier. What? Is it our past influences on our future? Yeah. The past is in our future. And the 
present is given by the future. So if we're going to Hawaii, you're going to be excited about that. Our present is going to be given by that future, yeah? Except for what's in our future is the past. Patterns. Because the brain is looking for patterns. So our present is given by the future in which the past is accidentally filed. Well, not accidentally. That's the way the brain survives. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, so what do we need to do about that? To create a future. Yes, but what do you need to do before you create a creative future? Do you need to take the past out of the future? Yes! You do. But before you can take the past out of the future, what must we do? something in. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> now, it's saying here, in order to do that, you'll probably first have to get up on the mat or get present to what the people you are leading have to say about it or you yourself has to say about it. Your, your strongly held opinions, your judgments and evaluations, Get, no, but for get up on the mat means get present? Get present to get Get it there so you can begin to grapple with it. See what it is. So, uh, here, so the way things are, what they, what they, why they're that way, what's wrong with all of that, the solutions you've tried, the hoped for and dreamt of future, the resigned to or worried about our feared future, the future that they've been given by authority, and then we will work hard for a future. So you want to get that almost certain future. So you know so you know what that is. So you will probably have to get present to what that is. Okay? Then Uh, he's going to leave the speaker. Okay, so do you remember the part about the mirror neurons, which one student said there's no proof that they exist, but there's a list, there's a certain way of listening to deal with that. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about what you remember about that? About mirror neurons? Uh-huh. That when we see when for a person which doing is doing something, and then we just by observing can remember his action and then repeat it in the future. Say that again. When we see a person which is doing something, which is doing something, yeah, no matter what, and by observing <coughs> him, we can remember some act and then repeat it in the future. And then repeat it in the future. Yeah. Okay. Not any thinking. All right. Is that like what's up there? No. Oh. But it's about mirror neurons. Mirror neurons. Right. Well, if you can put your, it's almost like if you can put yourself in that person's shoes, you can listen in a certain kind of way. That what? That person. Does. Huh? That person. Does. That what? That person does. You can listen in certain, okay, so people have strongly held ideals and positions 
and they know how it's supposed to be, and they know what they hope for, and they know how it, you know, all that stuff that I just read on the previous slide, right? All that that stuff that's in the that's mis that's in the future, that's misfiled in the future from the past, right? So there's a certain kind of listening that leaves yourself, if you have that, or other people, what? Leaves other people, what? Huh? Complete. Complete? Yeah. And what happens when you leave someone complete? That the person was gotten. Huh? That the the person, person thinks was... he was gotten? Yes. Understood? You remember that. Very good. Okay. Yes, and when someone's gotten, what happens to those strongly held positions and beliefs and things you hoped for and you were sure that they should have? What happens to that? To, the, to that person? No, to those beliefs, <coughs> to that, those strongly held positions and beliefs. What happens to that? We can understand them by like getting into the world of that person. We can do that? Yes, yeah. getting into the world of the person is paramount. But what happens when you do that? But the person thinks he was gotten? Yeah, what happens yeah. when they're gotten? I mean, we can understand his ideals. Yeah, and then what happens? Them. We can use them to What? 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 Uh, when the person is gotten, we can use his beliefs and ideas to influence him. To do what to him? Influence. Okay. Interest him? Yeah, that possibly you could you could identify some concerns of the relevant parties. Something else happened. Something happens. <coughs> huh? He or she has actually been gotten it. Yeah. Let's see. So what happens is they aren't so tightly woven together anymore. There's some space that's created. They're, com they're complete. It doesn't have a, a chokehold. It doesn't have the same grasp that it did before. But there is nothing between them? Well, then, yeah, then yes. Nothing between what you and what you're dealing with. And our, so, so that's authentic listening, right? When you're just listening to what somebody's saying, their, their point of view, their position, you know, about whatever it is, even if it's really upsetting to you. If you can just get their position and then they're gotten, that let, it leaves them complete. <clears throat> Your own positions, views, opinions, rationale.
rationalizations, justification, judgment, and significant history out from between you and the situation with which you are dealing. This includes getting what you know and your past experience tells you out between you and the situation with which you are dealing. In other words, you want to get yourself to a place where there's nothing between you and the situation with which you are dealing. You can, so to speak, hold what you know and what your past experience tells you up behind so that they shine some light on the situation with which you're dealing, but none of them can be between you and the situation. Can you explain again what is nothing? Huh? Can you explain what is nothing? What is nothing? Nothing. When there's nothing between what you and what you're dealing with. Yeah, that's what you mean by that? Yes. That nothing? There's nothing. Okay. I sent out an email asking you to collage something that you might be stuck with, have an issue, some concern. Do you remember that? It's recently. I know you guys apparently don't check your emails. But I asked. See, what I, what I want, what I want for you is for you to get this on the court. It's only it's going to be useful for you on the court. Otherwise, it's going to be a theory. And it'll be like me giving you the theory of riding a bicycle, and it'll be useless. Okay? So in order to get this on the court, I came up with this experiment in which you would collage something. Uh, you would collage something that you're stuck with. Uh, something that you want to move, that you haven't moved in a long time, some recurring, repeated upset, some issue, doesn't matter what it is, something that you're stuck with. And you would take pictures and you would post, put them down. So when you would see the, the, your world, how you view it, you wouldn't put any words in the collection, you would see the emotion, you would see the people that are involved, you would see your attitude. You would see your point of view. You would see your whole world in relationship to this situation that's stuck. Your strongly held opinions and beliefs and your hope for a future. Yeah? You would see all that. And you would put that out there. And we could look at that. We could put, you know, we could put it up on the thing and everybody could see it. It's really very powerful when everybody sees it because everybody gets how it is for you. I know which one collage will be like. One yeah. It will be a good picture with people from Revolution. Yes. And a little bit study. And a little what? Study. A little study? Yeah. Some. Will, will, that, will that be my you university and Will that be study. you studying a little bit? What? You yeah. said a little study. A little bit study. It's you studying a little bit. No, it means that. Uh, all which I'm with concerned about is a revolution in Ukraine. Yeah. And education. But not okay, so, so you would see a whole lot of revolution yeah. and protests, people protesting. And a little bit space for education. And a Some little which is bit selective. of you studying. Yeah. And that's all you would see. Right. And that, and so you, we would, and, and what, well, let's say we put a picture of you in there too. Right? So we could see the expression on your face. So what, what would we see you doing and what would the expression be on your face and how would you be feeling and what would that be like? Let's go. Huh? Like this. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and what's that emotion? Like, um, maybe I'm striving for doing something very powerful and searching some ways to do it. And, um, so I'm intention, like you'll be yeah. intentional, yeah. on purpose, intense. Yes, yes, yes. And what else? What else? Yeah. Concerned very much about it. Concerned? Yeah. Would we, see you, would we see you worrying, maybe? Yeah, worrying, but yeah, I will be a little bit nervous, but not like I'm afraid of something, but nervous because of the result of it, for example. The what? The result. The result. Funny. Result. So, what could be a bad result? Uh, it's the same government. The same government. What would be a good result? Change of the government. 
put an emotion to it, that tells the brain it's significant, he's now programmed for that future. We just programmed him. So in the leadership course, this is a, this contextual framework, program your brains to be leaders and effectively exercise leadership as your self-expression. This is the context. This is the context for that. When you came in here, there was the default context, right? How am I going to get people to do what I want? And all the other things, already always this thing. But we took that, that significant future, which was misfiled from the past. In this process, we put that back in the past. <clears throat> and... And we put this, we program your brain with this. You program your own brains with this contextual framework, which is going to leave you being a leader and exercising leadership effectively as your natural self-expression. Your brain is already programmed. There will be by the time we end this class. Okay? And it's the same process that I used with him. I mean, don't take my word for it. Just run the experiment and see if it, you know, all of this is on the court stuff, right? As experienced, as lived. You can't have it live as a theory. You've got to take it into your life, put it on the court, and run the experiment and see if it's not so. So we're going to see if, it's, if you're, in fact, left being a leader, effectively exercising leadership as your natural self-expression. So let's actually finish... Yeah. Uh, about our example, uh, Alexei speaks about his uh, future that he wants to have. Yes. And uh, he speaks to us, and yes. then you said uh, that you got him, and Alexei now is complete. Yes. Uh, I, you would kind of have to ask him, but did your communicating all of that about your previous, your first collage, where you left complete? About previous? <clears throat> yeah, about I know that uh, I'm complete now because of my, I made it clear for me about my future because of your work, for example. Okay, so he says he's left complete. Uh, okay, so That's the test, is you have to ask the person. Yes, so for example, Alexei can't have his, uh, uh, his future without being complete? It's, so well, it's, if you future. read in the fine print here, it says you will probably have to. That's what it said in here. Mm -hmm. So to the extent that you can take that default future out of your future drawer and put it back in the past and be complete with it, the more powerful you're going to be with whatever you create in the future. So for creation in your future, you must speak about it. It really helps, yes, because we have a hard time using our mirror neurons with our own self. <laughs> All right. Is the class over at 5.50 or 4.50? 5.50. 5.50? We have an hour and 36 minutes left? No. We have 47. No. What is wrong with my... Alright, it's 5... 5.15 now. 5.15 now. Yes. It's counting down to 5.15 and it says an hour and 36 minutes. I can't do it. Yeah. Alright, yes. I have oh some. yeah, it's, it's okay. Here, first... <coughs> oh, never mind. I, I need you in this conversation. Okay, so... Here's completing living into the almost certain future. Um, so you do, in, in the bold print, you do need to get yourselves clear that without a new context, the past arrived default future really is the future that will almost certainly get realized. It's your brain's programmed with that default, and it will get realized almost certainly. All right, so here we go. Creating a created future. I think this is only like six slides. Okay. 
When you and your people are complete with your strongly held positions, views, opinions, rationalizations, justifications, judgments, and significant history, and two, complete with the default past or our future that was your almost certain future, you and they will find that you have the freedom and even a natural inclination to create a creative future for you and them to live into. In your and the people you are leading, creating a created future to live into, you will want to be guided by the definition of leadership as a term in architectural framework, especially the following excerpt. Fulfills matters of fundamental interest and importance to the relevant parties, including those who granted the leadership and those who led you and those who left. The point is to create a future in which the foregoing is realized. Standing in the future to create a creative future. To create a creative future, you do so standing in the future looking from the future back to the present. Not standing in the present looking from the present towards the future. So in other words,